Good Friday afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another stream. This is Zach here. I'm going to be attempting, hopefully, to speak a little bit closer to my mic today because my air conditioner is in the window, not directly behind me here, not this window directly behind me, but the other window off on the far corner of the room. But it is probably audible over my voice if I'm not talking loud enough, so I'll try to talk over that. Um, so I apologize if you can hear that running. It's just, it's an older air conditioner. We just installed them yesterday. This is just an older model air conditioner. So it's a little bit louder, but I do apologize for that. But nothing I can do about it. It's just the one they chose to put in here. Um, so moving on, we're going to be doing a couple of different games today, starting with The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. And then moving on later to some Splatoon 2 over on the Nintendo Switch. And then back, we're going to come back over here to the PC for um, some Rocket League, um, depending on how long I play Splatoon 2 for. Um, so those are the three things I have lined up. I wanted to do a sort of big multi-game sort of thing. And then later on tonight, I might do another stream. It depends. Um, I wanted to do this because I am returning to work next week. Um, after the whole COVID lockdown thing, which is still going on. It's it's not over yet, but um, I am returning back to work next week. I have, I've been closely monitoring the status and everything, and I've made my choice to return back to work next week. Um, <clears throat> so that's what's going to happen, and uh, I won't be able to stream as much as I used to when I was home, so... I wanted to get a nice big, I want to do a nice big sort of, I don't know if I want to call it a final stream. It's not going to be my last ever stream, just my last stream for now um, on this kind of schedule because I was, because I have to go back to work. So let's get right off with The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. This is based on, this is the second expansion for The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, the first one being Base Afterbirth without the plus. Um, so it was Rebirth, Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus. That's how. That's what the order was. And um, so we're going to move right into Afterbirth Plus here. Um, let me turn this on so you can hear the game sound here. And I'll try to keep the game sound up so you can hear it. Um, I'm going to go into just right into this first file. I'm going to put up... I just bumped the, uh, the game sound up a little bit. It should be right near where my voice is. Um, so let me turn this down just slightly. There we go. I want you to be able to hear me over the game, but I want you to be able to hear the game. So. Um, hopefully you can hear the game. Um, I do I apologize if I was late at all because I wanted to start at like 3 o'clock, but... I never actually put that out there, but I was later than I wanted to be because I had to work on my other computer over here next to me that has the bot running on it. Uh, Windows, when I started it up, immediately went into update mode, um, which this computer will not do yet. It has an update ready, but it will not do it automatically because I've actually set it not to do that, specifically for this reason. So. After this stream and I'm done tonight, I'll probably have an update later time. My other computer, because it was turned off, when I started up immediately installed the updates, I had to wait for that to finish. Um, I just turned my headphone down. Let me just pop that up just a little bit, because I want to be able to hear it. I know you guys want to be able to hear it. Hopefully you can. Um, but we're going to go back here, and this is a file that I've gotten all the way to. I've beaten the lamb on this file, and I've beaten Hush and Delirium. And I also have the Forgotten unlocked, because once you beat the land, you can unlock the Forgotten, so... So if I start a new run here, for example, I have most of the base characters unlocked, except for Apollyon, which it says unlocked by beating blank by blank, which I, I, I forget how to do that. And then beat Greed Mode with the Zazel to unlock Lilith. Now, we're not going to be doing that today, I just yeah, have the Forgotten. Um, I should probably bring up second here. Bring up, bring up Platinum God over here so I can look at certain items if I need to check stuff. 
Um, because if I don't recognize an item, I can scroll through and find it. Most of them I know what to do, but what we're going to do is we're going to go back, and I'm going to press, I'm using my Xbox controller for the seasons to play this. We're going to press X, and in Afterbirth, there is a daily challenge mode, and the game itself, just the uh, game capture, just completely locked up. I don't know what's going on there. Hold on. There we go. I just had to update it. There we go. This looks like it is working. It's just that... Unless I click into the software, it doesn't work properly. That's odd. That's odd that it does that. If I click into this, the window capture locks up. Let me turn off full screen mode. There, that helped. That helped. Um, so now, hold on. Little behind the scenes of streaming here. Um, window capture do that so it fits the screen all right so that's better because it's in because it was in full screen mode so it's messing me up um what am i forgot to check my outgoing stream settings to see what we're on um it is it's on 720 60 okay so that's fine i just wanted to check where we were on that all right uh, so yeah, let's get started with this. We're going to be doing the daily run. Um, and to do that, I actually have to go into mods. There's a built-in mod in this game called the Mashup Color Hub. And after tweaks completion thing. Um, we're going to... This is one that I subscribe to on Steam, but you can't do the daily challenge with this enabled. So we're just going to hover over this with the cursor. With the arrow, press A. That goes right out. And now, I can do the daily run. It's just because they don't want you using mods to cheat the challenge. Let's head into this, and it looks like it's a cane run. Uh, basement one, and we have the key. Let me... I don't think I've seen... Uh, here it is. It's this key right here. It's uh, Dad's key. Okay, so this is Dad's key. So this can be used to open... Uh, it opens all doors in the current room that you're standing in. So... I didn't realize Kane started with that item, but that's really good. Um, and we got Daddy Long Legs, the Luck Foot, and the Nine Volt. So we've got a really good start here, good damage. The daily challenges are set challenges, so they would set it to be Kane, starting with a certain set of items. Um, Norton, uh, antivirus window just popped up on my screen. I can't get it to excluding whatever it is isn't working, so I just keep, all I do is keep closing it out. Um, but, uh, also, seed for today. Seed is, oh no, we can't see the seed. Interesting. Well, it doesn't matter, that, you know, why? Because it's a set run. It's a set challenge. Everybody gets the same challenge, so. This is the daily challenge for today. I think for me this is going to be, I'm not usually good at the uh, challenges, it is a mom's heart challenge, but it lives. Daddy Longlegs is instantly killing that, alright, so we're going to use the key, and that's going to open this, it's going to open the shop, and let me see what that uh, blanket item is, we're going to pause the game. It's just, I'm going to see some items here that I've never seen before, so I think it's an Afterbirth item. Or is it Afterbirth Plus? Let me search this, hold on. E-L-A. There it is, it's a booster pack item. Blanket. Plus one soul heart, heals one red heart when picked up. Heals, not gains, heals. Grants you a shield when entering the boss room, which prevents damage from one hit, then disappears. So basically, holy mantle effect for boss rooms. And it was unlocked this item by sleeping in ten different beds. Interesting. I'll show you what that is if you can see it. It is a shop item. Let's just clear that out. Go from there. Um, so yeah, let's move on. If I do get 15 coins, I will be taking that. I don't have to worry about keys, seeing as I have Dad's key, which does that by default. And I'm going to probably keep Dad's key as long as I can keep it. It's a 
surprisingly, after Birth Plus, they remix the floors a little bit, so the item room isn't where I originally expected it to be. There was no item room? It's because it's daily challenge mode, there's no item room. Did I forget about that? Did they not give you item rooms in daily challenge, or at least not on the first floor? That's odd. Alright, let's take the boss. We got uh, Steven. Not the hardest boss. He's easier than Gemini. He doesn't move as fast as Gemini does. And then the little guy's coming after me. Ah! That big guy's dead. So then this guy chases after you. He's basically a black Gemini. And we get little Steven here. And what this will do is it'll shoot Psyche Tears for me. So more Tears. Pretty decent item. Let's head down to the next floor. So that was basement. I believe it was basement one to start with. I'm gonna get basement two, basement three. Mini Mashos down. Oh, we get the butter. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take the. Actually, no, because we have the key. I don't realize we started with the. Um, uh, we started with the master of lock picking trinket. Platinum God also has Enter the Gungeon stuff on here. I've never played that game, but... Water. Using your active item while holding this trinket will drop it back on a pedestal on the ground. Okay, so I don't want that trinket. <laughs> so that tells me that I don't want that trinket and that I would rather this guy. And that is going to happen quite a bit, guys. I'm going to be going and reading up on items because when I play daily challenge mode... I often see items that I haven't seen before, so... So... You're gonna have to bear with me when I go and read up on items. I need to get some more tears. And... There goes my entire double deal. Why did it take all of it in one hit? The only thing I hate is if you take any red heart damage, any at all, you lose literally your entire chance that Devil Drill goes shoot straight down to 1%. Like, I don't like that at all. Like, because sometimes you can't help but take damage. Sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. Especially in a big room like this, it, 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 it can throw you off sometimes. And as you can see, we went back up to 36. And I'm not the worst player at this, but I can't get in there. Could go in the, you don't have to go in the arcade, why not? Uh, the key, the using dad's key probably would open that door, but... Oh no, because it only works on doors that require a key, my bad. So we got no bombs, we got a demon judgment, we got this guy. Uh, yeah. If we get any La Bombas, we'll probably come back. Take that guy out with some Daddy Long Legs doing the job of taking all those guys out. Bombs will open this door here. Oh, it opens the secret rooms too. That is that is neat. Now the battery, uh, I can't use it more than once, but the battery charges extra charges. Hmm. Let's bomb some of these mushrooms, shall we? The keeper puts that up, gets some coins here. Let's go check in here, which I believe is the shop. It is. Ooh. Humbling bundle. <coughs> Ew, excuse me. Don't have enough coins to pick up Humbling bundle yet, but it is a very good item, so. We'll definitely be picking that up. Actually, let me go over to the arcade. Oh no, I used up my last bond. Never mind. Yeah, so there's a ton of coins in here, but I don't have flying, and I probably should use my bombs to <laughs> all of them. All of them. It looks like we've got some fly mulligans here. A true bomb and a true bomb. All right. So we got two more bombs. We got two more La Bombas. So we're gonna come in here. If we put this right here. We should get both of these stuff open at once. Yeah. Shop here, and I will buy humbling bundle. Don't need the key. I'm gonna buy the tarot card. 
the tower. Mm, not the worst card in the world. And now that we have Hunter and Wendell, all these coins change to double, so we're actually going to use this. And I took damage from that. Anyway, we got four more coins out of that. We can go on. Do that before my hair conditioner just turned its family. I've never heard it do that before. That's interesting. I may go check on that because that might not be good. And we get lost. Yeah. This is a mini boss. I'm done. We get a pill. I like to use the pills. Full health. Full health. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the game one second. I'm gonna go check that air conditioner and make sure it's working. So we'll be right back. Alright, we are back, um, so this air conditioner has an energy saver mode and that's what it did. Once it hit the right temperature, it went to energy saver mode. Um, I need to keep it on because it'll keep it cool and, and not only does it need to make it cool, it needs to keep it cool, so it needs to stay on to keep it cool. Anyway, so we're going to go back through here, no tinted rocks there, I'm just going to check all, since I have a bomb left, I'm going to check all the rooms for tinted rocks, because if we can get a soul heart somewhere, that'd be great. Uh, nothing there, I am going to go use this bomb that I have left. Super secret room. Hopefully in the big room, so I'll use my key there. Um, let's actually blow the demon judgment. And the beggar, we just get a ton of coins out of it. That's <laughs> fine by me, because I can re-roll the... <clears throat> There's a re-roll machine in the shop, so I can re-roll that. Um, just... Right there. That way I can see it a little bit easier. The angle was off. So we gotta luck up um, by getting a certain number of points. So let's go up here. We are going to use that. Ooh, we get the blank card. Blank card, we get the coupon. Let's see if we can roll it again. Eh. Ooh, I would take that 9 bolt though if I get enough coins. Let's go in here, see if... Sorry, I wanted to go in the big room. Because my guess is if we do this... The super secret room is in here. It is not, actually. That's interesting. And little horn. One of the keys here is to actually keep the flames going. Oh, champion little horn. Nice. papers. We got a bone heart out of that, apparently. And we get a trinket. Um, let me check again what divorce papers actually does. D-I-V-O. Divorce papers. It's an afterbirth. It's a, uh, sorry, it is a booster pack item. Plus one bone heart, plus, plus 0 0.7 tears up. When you pick this item up, the mysterious paper trinket is spawned on the ground. Add it, blah, blah, blah. So, mysterious paper, let's see. Paper. Mysterious paper. Even taste the behavior of some of the other paper. 
missing page, can imitate missing page, Polaroid or negative. A missing poster. You have to get the missing poster. This, if we die in the sacrifice room, which I'm not gonna do, this is a daily challenge. Unlock this item by beating the chest with Eden, which apparently, well, no, because this is daily mode, you can get any item, any item in the game. So one of the effects that this item can imitate is the missing poster, which, if you die in the sacrifice room, you can imitate, you know, you can think. So the only other area that it could possibly be, and I don't think it would be in the starting room. Um, not like that. Nope. It's not in here. Just thought I'd try. Nope. Nope. You know what? There's more place that it can be buy the battery and buy no I wanted to buy the bombs oh, well, we got the hermit card we can instantly get to the shop on the next floor uh, the only other place it can really be is in here but it's not all right so there might not be a super secret room on this map uh, I can't believe I made that mistake I'm so stupid all right let's get down to the next floor let's just go Damage is still good. We are going to need to get some more eventually, but other than that. Alright. Oh, uh, I told you guys how much I hate ponies. Now, if I take another hit, I lose the bone heart. Oh, no. Okay. You know, had that have been Cricket's head, it would have been a damage run. Keep it wrong. So hard. Chest. I have to clear out the poop skin here and if you get a petrified poop or something. I will take the petrified poop if I get it. So many red hearts, red hearts everywhere. If I get a dark bomb, this is gonna be great. Again, there's no item rooms here because it's a daily run. Um, eh, a secret room could be here. And it is. Nice. Money, money, money. 
Notice how all those coins pick up doubled because we're holding humbling bundle. Humbling bundle. Alright, let's blow him up. Right now we do have a guaranteed shot of it that we'll be able to do and take one last floor, open the shop with the key. Get restock. Hmm. I have to bomb the guys here to get a coin. Nope. Well, if we get a coin, you know I'm coming back to take restock because restock is a good item. <laughs> Alright. Time to take on the uh, XO in here. And we got Globins. Globins, 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 and uh, Alright. And we get hearts instead of coins. Alright. Alright. Not going in there. Because I take theirs if I go. Ah, excuse me. Actually, going in there is not going to lose me my double deal, and we might get something good out of this chest. Yeah, we got attack spiders. Don't lose the bone heart. Okay. Let's backtrack into here and grab the double heart pickup that spawned. You see, that's why I like that the bone heart doesn't. Oh, okay. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> hey, bone heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Once you unlock the forgotten, you also get bone hearts. Bombs, keys, bombs, perfect. Uh, super secret room, probably here. Usually it's near the boss room. We'll try the two, we'll try the two corners, it's not, okay. Uh, it's not going to be right next to the boss, so it could be there if it's accessible from this room. Let's try it there. Nope. Alright, well, um, any other ones I haven't beaten yet? this on YouTube would probably be yelling at me. Ooh, that would be nice. And uh, that was another thing I wanted to point out. I'm going to try to start um, exporting from this point on. I'm going to try to start... Ugh. I'm going to try to start exporting most of my streams to YouTube. Uh, YouTube.com slash sacro20. Um, money, money, money. I just lost my bone heart because of that. I don't even know what it was that hit me. Oh, they shot from the blood flame. Put that there. Put this guy up. Oh, yeah. We can do some re rolling in there. Alright, let's grab restock. We get some stuff here, paralysis. Hmm. Something else I really need. In here, should I grab a tarot card? Death card, hermit card. Stars, we take you to an item room if there was one on that floor. Sun. You know, I'll take the sun card because that will. What that'll do is it'll reveal the entire map to me, which I can. And it'll heal me, so. Uh, I'll use that map. Probably on the next floor, I'll probably use it. Especially if we get like an XL floor, I'll definitely use it. And we get people. We'll take out people. One keeper away. Ah. 
Flames. Okay. Uh, did I take Hokusin? Hokusin, Guppy's Hairball, Demon Judgment. Uh, let's pawn the Demon Judgment real quick. Just see what I get. Oh, my wants. Okay, that I will take. Let's go out here because I think there's a heart scene. I've got some heart down the bottom of that. Actually, I've got some hearts in the shot too, so I don't go away. Just remember that those are in there. So we'll go in here and then in here and we'll pick this up. And I'd rather take the sun card. Alright. And we can go down to the next floor after <laughs> obviously you're not gonna get the boss rush because you have to beat the standard, the regular mom, you know, the foot. You have to beat that fight within 20 minutes and that's not gonna happen. So uh, darn darn down to the next floor. Sorry, that's my horrible Northern Irish accent. <laughs> totally horrible. Alright. I can use the key to open this door that's got two locks on it. charge key too. Can't pick that up. Basically that key had little sparks coming off of it. That's a charge key. It gives you a, uh, essentially a battery charge when you pick it up. Basically it's a key and battery rolling around. Electrified key. We get lots and lots of bombas. Lost bombas. Alright. So we got bomb flies. Okay, dead. Hey, we got a mini mark. Right there, my three final luck slot might have helped me out with that. So, me mush, what this does. Excellent. Excellent. Pick this up. Speed and range. Now, my speed is at 1.6, and I really don't want to climb higher than that. I hate bunnies. Bunnies are probably the, one of the worst mobs in the game. Perfect. We get another chest. I'm gonna take my money and run right there. Oh, we got those spiders. <laughs> this 
Spiders are probably useless. These red spiders are probably useless. Mobs in the game. Again, we're doing we're playing the binding of Isaac uh, after birth plus here. Uh, I'm just gonna do a command real quick so you guys can see if I do exclamation point info. Bot responds. So we're currently doing get it on Steam, and I had to put in the description there you do have to have both uh, Rebirth and uh, Afterbirth for this to work. Uh, this is like I said, this is Afterbirth Plus. I can't, get money, 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 money. I can't get into that one. Is there one up here? No, I can't get to it. Like, the key. No, open this up. Public store. It is, and I will take that more options card. And then we got a Steam sale. Thank you, Restock. Thank you, Restock. We get a Steam sale. All right, we'll do some re-rolling. Jumper cable. Is that the one? Hold on. Hold on. Again, I have to look up items again, but I have to. Let's see. Jumper. Jumper cables. Is there anything gives you one bar of charge on your active item for every 15 enemies you kill? by picking up three of either the 9 volt, the battery, the car battery, AAA battery, and watch battery in the same run, any combination of at least three of them. Um, hmm. I'm not going to take it because I already have. Ooh. Okay, this, the habit, gives you a charge. I'm going to pick up the soul heart. The habit. Oh, no. Oh, I should have used that. Okay, it's still here. Um. Yeah, because half because stuff is half price now. There we go. <laughs> now we can just look for that half price premium item that I want. Black Candle, definitely going to take that. That's Curse Immunity. And, uh, yeah, I will also take Spider Mod if I can get it. I actually do like Spider Mod. So I just need another five coins. I'm going to fat that. Whoa, that was close. And shoot back. <laughs> back up to 13 coins. Take Spider Mod, since it's a really good item. Mama Mega. I don't really think I need that item. And that is what Spider Mod does, as you got on it. It shows health bars on all the mobs, which I really like having that, because it shows you how close you are to killing it. If you have to, like, change your focus <laughs> to something else. Um, Up to the curse room, why not? I have all these soul hearts available, so why not? It says there's a coin. Oh, it's, oh, it's up there. I can't get to that. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Can't go up to the. Mm. Mob traveling, but I can go. And we get Guppy's head. Uh, I am going to touch it to add to the Guppy item, but I do like the key better, so we are going to touch it. But we're going to take the key back. Now we're going to <laughs> out of this room. I don't need, I haven't needed the sun card yet. Um, I'll probably use it on the next floor just so I know where the boss room is. Uh, so we have ten. I don't need any more bombs. I have plenty of those. Reroll that. We get Diplopia. Now, Diplopia will double. Hmm. Let's pick that up. Ooh, and that's actually a good item to use it on. Screw it. I'm going to use it. That way we get free. There, that, that. We have to take whatever this 
card is two, two clubs of bond. clubs. Okay, this is the last two cents. Two of clubs. <laughs> and now we have... <laughs> so that's what Diplopia does. It duplicates all the items. So I got an extra latch key, that, uh, Dad's key. And then I got the... Uh, so now we have uh, more options and even more options. So more options is for boss rooms, even more options is for item rooms. Oh, what? Of course we get Mega Fighting. What are you doing in here, Mega Fighting? Okay. Right. Oh, he wants to land it on Spider-Man, because that's what Spider-Man does. He's, a, he's effectively Bosses you do have the boss bar, the bottom of the screen. Yeah, that is. And that was a 50% angel deal shot that we missed. L O L O L O L O L. Um I need to read up on this item. I know one of the hearts, I know what it does, but that other heart that looks like meat, I don't know what it is, so let's see. H-E-A-R-T. Your pack item. Oh, it's marrow. Okay, so it gives you a bone heart, spawns three hearts on the ground, and picked up. Okay, so it gives you a bone heart, which is interesting when it comes to the whole HP up. Um, I will take it though. So it gives me a bone heart, and then of course all these heart pickups get doubled. Too bad we can't get like a dark bum or something, right? That'll be that'll be great. That'll be real nice. Unfortunately, <laughs> we can't do that. I wonder. I want to check something real quick. I don't know 100%, but. Okay, so we have that there. Let's get some of full charge there that we can pick up before we go to the next floor. I'm going to go down to the room. I'm wondering. It doesn't require a key, but I'm wondering if. I activate this. Yes! And we got a suit, so I can now come in here. This is a boss trap room. And of course we get Pete, because why not? Now the bosses that spawn in here usually have less health. Ah. Whoa! Okay. Picked out a cool piece of bone heart there. Oh! God, Pete is an annoying boss. Have I told you to keep some annoying boss? Okay, he's dead. And we get the chub. The chub. Get the chub. We have two ways in the boss rooms. I have enough moving speed that I can kind of dodge him when he comes at me. And the chub done. So that does actually work. You can actually open boss trap rooms and such. Interesting. Um, check the secret rooms since it's open. <laughs> we get money. We get more money. Look at this. <laughs> Time to go back to the shop, ladies and gents. <laughs> because we now have money for two more premium items. This is what happens when you get Steam Sale. Folks, we'll re-roll this. Uh, pop to play. Yeah. I'm gonna take that. That's fine. No, oh, I want the pill. It's an X-Lax pill. Two, Two diamonds. Of Perfect. Diamonds. Do that. Okay, machine blew up, so we're out of... Hey, it's the blanket. I'll take that. Um... And then we have Trinket Smelter. Trinket Smelter makes trinkets become passive, which I don't think I need. Um, now, Compost. I'm going to actually take... Oh, no, it spawns flies when you use it. Okay, no, I want the key. Uh, I want the key. All right, so we are done with this floor. <laughs> 93 bombs. Uh, yeah, bomb and mushroom. Why not? We'll do some mushroom farming since we can. Okay, 
get into any of those. Can't get into that one. Okay. And we are done. I love how Spider Mod is just sitting there. It, it does still do its thing, but it just sits there. Alright. So we're off to a good start here. Uh, moving on to the fourth or fifth floor. Sorry, fifth floor. Depths one. Spider Mod fixed itself. I hate ponies. I hate ponies. I hate ponies. Get the red chest there. I hate ponies. Why my worst enemy? Can you tell I hate ponies? <laughs> ah! Okay, that's just regular chest. We don't need that. Ah, we get gang ponies. Ah. Every heart pickup that spawns turns into a double heart. Interesting. And we get Dingle. We get Dingle. Uh, lost the bone heart. Well, losing the bone heart doesn't lose you your devil deal. Okay? More soul hearts, I suppose. Daddy long legs. Daddy long legs coming up with the uh, the goods there. Oh gosh, super rad. Saying his air bombing damage. No. And he's dead. Uh, a mega troll bomb. A troll bomb. A troll bomb, a mega troll bomb. All right, let's see. And we get bats, 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 bats. We get two bats. Okay, done. Bombs. Mini room. We've already had a mini boss. Easy. Um. No, it can't be there. Be here? Not here. It won't be in the mini boss room. Um, so it can't be. I can't be there because of that. Um, could be here. Let's do this other room and see. Nope, it's not there. I, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the room layout to determine where the secret room is going to be. If you come across a wall room with walls like this where there's a gap between you and the wall that you can't walk over, the secret room is not there. So the secret room is not in that location. Um, we'll move up one. Secret room is not here. What about in here? Could be there. Uh, I'd have to check the big room. We have two sides. What do we got here? Oh, we get a playing card. Two hearts. Of hearts. And for no reason, secret room would be here if it was here. And it is there, cause, and I know because I had three accessible sides. <gasps> and we can get it because we have bombs. Skeleton key. 99 keys. Oh, we got a spider. Spider Rooney. Money. I like that item though, that's a good item. Alright, we're gonna use this in here to open that door because it's obviously the shop. Okay, we're gonna buy that. Actually, we're gonna buy a couple of them since we have restock uh, active here. Um, buy the piggy bank, gives me money every time I take a hit. The ladder. Ooh, deep pockets. That is actually a decent item. Yeah. Deep pockets. So deep pockets, you can carry an extra trinket. And that's good. Um, I don't have any trinkets available to me right now. On this okay, nothing we can do there. So that's basically... See, this is what the ladder does. It allows you to walk over gaps if I go... You know, it allows you to walk over a one block gap like this. Um, just a 
super secret room probably gonna be near the boss, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. I am planning on doing an Azazel run after this run. Um, but I do want to do some Splatoon 2 while it's on the mode that I want it to be on. Um, right now it's on, I believe it's Rainmaker, which is one of the modes I like to play, so... We shall see, and we get what I like to call Larry Senior. because as far as I know that room has it, that pocket, so it's probably going to be on this side if it's here. And there it is. Nothing in there. So basically you can look at the layouts of the rooms, and based on the layouts of the rooms, you can see if there's a secret room there. Um, now, I, again, I've already found them all, so there's not going to be any more. There's a, a secret room and a super secret room, that's it. See how the ladder's on me to go over that? Ah! My least favorite mod. Ooh. Are you penny? This will has a chance to drop a red heart when you pick a coin up. <laughs> That's good, because if you get like a dark bomb. Let's just use this. Boss in the game. So now the other one is mad at me because I feel uh, she's rolling. <laughs> Forget what it does. Give me one second. I think it's the afterbirth item. Let me clear this out. Is it afterbirth? It's not a rebirth. I know it's not a rebirth item. I think it's an afterbirth item. I don't know. Maybe afterbirth plus. Ah, afterbirth plus item. That is duality. So duality. Okay, so duality is gives you basically gives you the choice between devil and angel if they both spawn, or if one spawns, it spawns both. So we're gonna take that. Um, so we get a decent damage here. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this floor. So the next floor is the mom's leg fight, and that's not what we're trying to beat in this game. What we're trying to beat. This game is it lives in the day one. says that one. I'm trying to finagle the wheels on my chair so that they don't leave big divots in the mat. There's a mat under my chair to protect the... Bingo. Bingo, bango, bongo. Sorry. Dad's key to open this. Eternal chest. Now what's interesting is these chests, after a while, it'll close itself. Okay, well, apparently, yeah, and now it's 
it's gone. Oh ah, well. Eternal chest is supposed to, it's supposed to be reobtainable. It's supposed, it's supposed to close. It's supposed to... Uh, dang Wilkins. Dang Wilkins. Ow. Shot myself shooting a spider mod thinking it was like an actual spider enemy. reason I pop those after is because if it spawns any items, they can't spawn in that, they would spawn in that area if I pop them before. And there are certain rooms with areas you can't get to with poops on them like that. I found pills. <laughs> oh, we get double the hollow and he's champion the hollow, but the hollow has less health than Larry Jr. does, so you know what so that is the uh, bloody penny kicking in, spawning those red hearts. <laughs> shop up, which I, what I think is a shop. Oh, no, it's a library. We're going to get a bookworm transformation. at it. it <laughs> not sure what that did, but the revelations, we have book one, we're gonna use book of red, and then we're gonna take the key back. Now, I will, just a word of warning, when I do switch, switch over to Splatoon, the webcam is going to go away, and that's because I have to use the Elgato software to capture, that's because I have to use um, Elgato to capture off my console, because it, it helps with the delays. we got another room here, this ought to lock the door here, this ought to be the shop. Uh, so let's go in here, yup, we got the shop. We got trinket smelter. This so that it bombs both the keeper and the reroll. We get the crooked. We get the crooked penny. We are gonna take a couple of these soul hearts and fill our health up. There we go. So I have plenty of coins. Charge baby, definitely. Should have taken that sack head. Mm. Mom's box spawns trinkets, but I don't necessarily need that. We get the PhD, which is a good item. That gives me better pills, so something, yeah, something's wrong. Uh, I'll keep going here. Carol cloth, very good. Turns. Not two hearts, I'll take, I'm gonna take BFS because that makes my familiars bigger. I'll get more damage out of Steven. Um, those double, those 2020 shots are procking from Bookworm. Uh, we also do get the treasure map, which I'll definitely take. Because uh, we don't need the sun card anymore. I have enough coins to take one more half price premium item. It'll be Mon's key, which I'll definitely take. There's the Bibble. Do Bibble. And I'm going to grab another tarot card here. So, tarot cloth, one, it allows me to carry two. I can't pick that up. One, it allows me to carry two tarot cards, and two, they activate doubles. So, let's just line up with the door here. That's the easiest way to get those. I'm going to blow those up, and we're good to move on. So, that battery drop coming from Charge Baby. Um, You know the song I've had in my head all day from Splatoon is uh, Calamari Incantation. Uh, the one from the Squid Sisters. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna keep singing that, but I it's gonna be Blue Mom. It's like. Stops taking damage. Come on, I oh, was right there. <laughs> Got it. On boss down. No double deal, unfortunately. Um, we have to go to the mom's. We have to go to mom's heart. I'm not sure. Take the board. If we do get a devil deal in the mob's heart fight, it's going to spawn both and that'll allow us to go to Cathedral. Because that's how they usually work. Um, so let's move on to the womb. Which there won't be any more shops. But we've got a good build going on here, so... What? What? Oh, creep. Paying attention to the creep on the ground, like dumb, absolute dumb. A uh, tarot clock will also turn pill drops into cards. So if I go back down here and I bomb the vanity, oh no! Bolt pill, lock up. I definitely take that. This is where I'm going to die because of all this stupid damage. And we get Gertie Jr. Gertie, Gertie Jr. <laughs> dead. So guys, I'm down to five hearts now. I had a full two racks of health and I'm now down to five hearts. <sighs> There's a tinted rock in here, so we might as well. Yep, I told you. Take my health back, thank you. I think there were two tinted rocks there, oddly enough. Oh, yeah, because this is nice. Wait, I can just... Oh, no, I can't do that. We're going to come across here. We're going to come across here to the corner. Boom. Okay, so now all those turn into brown poops. We can get a pet poop here. That would be great. And we don't. Moving on. Oh, it's another one of these where I have to bomb my way through the poops. Or I have to shoot my way through the poops anyway. There's the pet poop. Oh, cancer trinket. Uh, the cancer trinket is better because it ups your tear rate. <laughs> Definitely taking the cancer trinket over petrified poop. I'm sorry, but I have to. Because the tears up, give me. Yeah, uh, get out of there. The movement speed up too. I get in there. Now we can get lots out of this since we have our luck is way up. Wait, wait a minute. Go back. Grab this. Cancer trinket. Yeah, we'll just go right in and fight the boss. Mama Gertie. Again, not the hardest boss in the game. You have to avoid that. She does that and the floor things. Ah, I hit the spikes. She's dead. Uh, what do I take? What do I take? What do I take? There's two different syringes here. Let me see which ones we have in this room here. I have 
synth oil. I think that's synth oil anyway. Yeah, that's synth oil. I'm taking synth oil. I think the other one is either Red Rage or Experimental Treatment. We're taking synth oil. Look at that Dionigio. I want to go to the Devil. You know what? We'll go to the Devil Deal. We get Gimpy. We get Gimpy and the Dark Sack, oh, which is uh, the powder. Don't need that. Don't need either of those. Let's go. Moving on. My goal here is to beat Mom's Heart, or uh, It Lives. Excuse me. I keep saying Mom's Heart. Like I'm beating it. I'm trying to... It does open the arcade. I thought I just. I was just testing that. That was just testing. Like I said, I come from base algebra, so I'm not used to some of these enemies. It's super gluttony, but it's too regular gluttony. Oh, thank you for the double heart. Fill that bone heart up. That's what I like about the bone hearts. They don't. Uh... Is that spider mod that does that freeze effect? Two hearts. Yeah, two hearts. Heart. We're going here. So hard. We're gonna go to Cathedral. Oh, wait. Wait, you can't. Uh, it's just over? Huh. Apparently, it's just over. Alright. Daily run completed. We get number 3167 <laughs> on our score 3357 on our time. Well, we're on. <laughs> We beat the daily run, which I haven't done in a really long time. So that is going to be it for the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Um, what we're going to do here now is... It's this one? Yeah. What we're going to do here now is we're going to be switching to uh, Splatoon 2 over on the Nintendo Switch. And what I'm going to be doing for this is I'm going to be switching to a different streaming software. I'm going to switch over to the Elgato software. Um, and then... If I do do something else, maybe I'll come back to this, but for the time being, I'm going to take a short break here while I get the switch set up. Um, the stream is actually going to stop because I have to, like I said, I have to switch uh, applications and then we'll bring it back up. I wanted to try to use, I, I do want to try to use Streamlabs at some point for it, but the delay, the thing is the delay on the capture card for me is always changing. Every time I use it, it's different. And then there's the delay on the webcam and the audio and everything, and it has to all be the same. So that's why I'm going to go with the uh, Elgato software. So let me switch over to that, and we will be right back. <laughs> 